action. Action. Hi, Martin here with Cross Bikes, interviewing the Chicharone about Mid South. Yes, that's me. I'm Chich Chichabu. Okay, okay, so let's talk about Mid South. Okay. What do you know about the event? <laughs> okay, it's 100 miles in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Stillwater. Stillwater, organized by Bobby and co, like his wife, Crystal, and all the good people of Stillwater. And it's the party race, the party race of the year. And if you know Bobby. The event of the season. It is, because Bobby is so much fun, high energy, loves music, loves dancing, loves having a good time, loves a good drink. So I think this race encapsulates all of that. Um, yeah, so it's 100 miles on Oklahoma, that red sticky dirt. Well, it gets sticky when it rains. Um, Get sticky. Do you yeah. know Bobby was one of Crust's first ever customers? Yeah, you told me that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Living the fucking dream patch. Living the dream patch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And then I met him at the Oregon Outback. He's so fun. Good guy. He's good a good guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see him for long at the Outback. He was out of there. Clearly, you're a top echelon athlete. No. What have you been doing to no. train? No. I'm not an athlete at all. You know, what's your no. VO2 max? What the fuck is that? I don't know. I just heard people say <laughs> it before. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. What the fuck is that? You're like, I'm, I'm bad. I think it's got something to do with lung capacity. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not an athlete at all. Never have been an athlete. I was like... I was a person that got hit in the head with balls in gym class because... Mm -hmm. I uh, believe that, yeah. yeah. Volleyballs, basketballs, soccer balls, dodgeballs, all the balls hit in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds wrong, but like shit like that makes me crack up. <laughs> I like, I think I'm like the queen of cracking myself up. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, my training. <laughs> Training. No, I am not an athlete. Uh, I am probably like the laziest person when it comes to physical shit. Uh, I enjoy working. I like working behind my laptop in this computer screen back here. Uh, other than that, I love to nap. I love to eat. And I love to watch Netflix. Uh, so training for this. I'm in Ojai, so I've just been riding the bike path a bunch. Um, and then I've been riding uh, Sulphur Mountain, which is a dirt road that goes up a couple thousand feet. So that's where we're going to go, where I'm going to take you today. I mean, I could leave without her. She doesn't care. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> Did you see? I fell yesterday in the mud. Another pair of Nikes in the mud. When your marriage reaches a point where things are getting a little dull, you make your own porno. We need communication. <laughs> communication turns me on. Let's go, bitches! I gotta wear a helmet, huh? Yeah. It's so hard being cute. This looks way better. I was like a fucking nerd before. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Jesus. No! <laughs> Nailed it. That's my fucking way. <laughs> What's the furthest you've ridden? Mm, two days ago, I rode 70 miles on pavement. That's been my longest ride. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of that because I think for women, who are getting into riding, um, this bottom area, I mean, maybe for men too, it's like you have to break it in, especially because like I don't wear chamois 
or anything. So, and mm. I got my Brooks saddle, which we all know you have to break in. Tonto Cock, you're gonna be on top of it. So, anyway, during that 70 mile ride, I got to like mile 40 and I was like, whoa, it's really burning down there. But then I was just like, fuck it, I gotta do this. And then it kind of like went numb. So I think I had a breakthrough. So the seven, 70 mile on Sunday was like, I really got to see what I'm capable of and how far I can mentally Whoa! numb parts of my body so I can just get through it and do something. I can't believe it's raining. What bike are you going to use? For Mid-South? Mm. Uh, my Evasion Light. I was so excited. It's so beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Garrett did a beautiful build for me with like, it's like this beautiful yellow sand color with a carbon fork. And then he did all like these purple anodized like components. And it's just a really beautiful build. Some ultra dynamico tires. Um, yeah, great bike. So who is on this Mid-South team? Okay. And why did you choose them? Yes. Okay. On the team, it's Leo, Johnny, Jimmy, Louie, myself, and then maybe my brother Matthew. I don't know. He's in uh, Barcelona right now skating, so I eh, haven't really gotten a response from him whether he's going to be there or not, but would love to have him. So the team is like six or seven people. Uh, I am the only lady. Uh, why did I do this? Because, I mean, there's no real reason other than I like all the female attention on me. Um, and also, this team is more about chemistry rather than filling little boxes of what a team should be. So, my team is just my friends. These are the people I have probably the best times with, laugh with the most, so... Uh, yeah, that's what this race is going to be. It's just going to be a fun time. It's not, we're not there to be number one. We're there to look good and have a good time. So that is why the team is the way that it is. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading about a crypto back to YouTube. Getting out of he's like on that, room. he's like on the, that Robin Hood app. No, Gareth sent me an email. Um, just some scam, I'm sure. Stop pointing that thing at me. There are two cameras pointing at me right now. I'm not even meant to beam this damn thing. Well, you gotta be because I, I want people to see what the fuck I have to live with. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the people have to know. <laughs> what else do I need to ask this fool? <laughs> so tell me, is there anything nutritionally you plan to do for or on the ride? Um, so, right, we got this place in Ojai uh, for the month of February and it was kind of expensive. So we talked as a couple that if I was gonna get this place, that I would have to start making my own food because we eat out so much and it's expensive. So that's what I've been doing. So I've just been actually having I'm vegetarian, so I've been just having a bunch of veggies and smoothies. Every now and then I'll indulge in like a frozen diet pizza or something. And it's actually been like a lot nicer to make my food. Uh, it's been a lot nicer on my belly. I don't feel like as bloated and gassy. I'm still pretty gassy, but um, not that much. And then... Non-stop farting. Yeah. It's insane. Like the carbon emissions that I eject out into the world. Several cows like, worth of methane. Oh, um, insane. And it's, you would not expect some of it. Anyway, <laughs> and then for actually the ride, I was thinking we could all as a team order pizza the night before and then like pack cold pizza in, mm. in our bags. Cause Gen I'm thinking- Genius, genius. I'm thinking like mile 50 maybe, 60, I'm gonna want like, that's gonna bring me to life, I think. Mile 50 is a, there's, I think there's food at mile 50 anyway. Oh really? No, I think the pizza idea is good. You know what's, what's funny about that? I'm lactose. So 
if I have that at mile 50, things are gonna get really dicey after that. Because isn't there like a time where the race splits off like 50 milers and 100 milers? And like, if I'm in too deep into the 100 miles and I have that pizza and all of a sudden like, I gotta go. You just shit on the side of the road. Things are gonna get interesting. Gotta bring some toilet paper maybe, a yeah. wipe, a couple wipes. But the 50 mile spot, because I was only going to do the 50 mile when right. I did it. Mm -hmm. And then I got to the 50 mile spot, I didn't know where I was. <laughs> so I was just like, well, I guess I'm doing the 100 because I, I just follow everyone back to town. And that's the only reason I did the 100 because I was, I was literally lost. <laughs> so that's probably what happened to you too. Yeah. I guess you got your Wahoo though now. Yeah, I'll do my Wahoo. I'll use my Wahoo. I'll have the course on hand. Isn't Wahoo sponsoring the team and giving us all free Wahoos? I've been harassing them, but like they didn't answer me. Mm. Pizza is gonna save me mentally, physically, it might destroy me. Maybe some wine too. And definitely a weed gummy, 100%. Or stargazer chocolate. Stargazer. Stargazer chocolate. <sighs> <sighs> the sun is fucking blinding me because well, of this Well, then fucking shut the curtains. And then he's like, get back in the shot, man. Yeah, because you were texting. I'm trying to write goddamn business. You didn't even close the other blind that's blinding you. I thought that one did it all. I didn't know there was three handles. I can't say it. I can only say it behind closed doors. You about to cancel yourself. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I was gonna fucking domestic abuse his ass. <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. All my bruises are not from falling No, off I've got the bruises. I've got the bruises, not you. Yeah, it's true. Not from him, obviously. It was, like, I just... it was a particularly nasty stretch of completely flat and straight bicycle path. It could have happened to anyone. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so what else have you been doing to train? I've been falling mm -hmm. off my bike a lot, mm -hmm. which you know. I've witnessed it. Mm -hmm. Because there's something to be said about falling off your bike. Because now that I've fallen so much, you know, before, like, I would fall and I'd be like, that guy from Family Guy, I'd be like, <sighs> you know, like, ah, and, like, be there for, like, a minute. Mm -hmm. <sighs> We're back at it. We were just talking about like how windy it is outside right now. I didn't even think about like at the race. Well, I guess I did think about the elements. Rain, but also wind. Ice, snow. Ice, snow, it could snow. It could get anything out there. Yeah, there's so many things you have to think about. Like, I think, I think like Jimmy and Johnny were like, especially Jimmy was like, oh, I can like do 50 miles now, so I'll be okay to do 100 miles. But like, dog, you are doing 50 miles on pavement, like probably like, I think I saw that Strava, it was like 2,500 feet of climbing. Yeah, these guys have no idea. Yeah. Have they not watched Stillwater? <laughs> have they not seen what Matt Damon goes through just living there? Yeah, I don't think that's what that movie's about. It's about the event. Somehow <laughs> it ends up in France, I assume because of the rich cycling history in France, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, yeah. But they need to watch that movie to get a grip of what's gonna happen at this event. Right, they do. Their daughters could end up in a French prison. Oh my god. Anything's possible out there on the course. Hopefully Matt Damon's around. Anyway. Uh, they're like out of their... They're out of their minds if they think that they can do like those 50 miles and then be like, yeah, this is good enough for fucking still water 100 miles. If they actually get to the event, they're fine. They've got it in the bag. The, their biggest hurdle would be getting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to rewatch that film to make sure I, I'm understanding it correctly. Why are you the only female on the team? We asked that. Oh, right? we did? Yeah. I, I was so doubt. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm so happy that you can pay attention to me because, right, relationships aren't based on like communication and listening to each other or anything, huh? You've been watching too much of that Love is Blind show. <laughs> Okay, you've been watching way too much of that. You've been watching it with me, I'll so admit, don't even I'll fucking admit, play. I'll admit, quite an entertaining program. Quite an entertaining <laughs> program. 
tell me about the uh, outfits you've been working on. The uniforms, I guess. They're not outfits. No, they're fits. They're fits? Yeah. Fits, that's the term? Yeah. Tell me about these fits. Well, <laughs> there's going to be... There's gonna be an off the bike fit. So like everyone at Mid-South knows that we're together. We are the crust team. Mm -hmm. And that is gonna be like a Stan Ray crust collab. Mm -hmm. And then on the bike, we have uh, like a crust Casa Verde thing going on. But honestly, I can't show you anything because everything is still getting made. And I don't really wanna tell you too much uh, all I can really say is natural fibers, none of that lycra bullshit. That's all I can tell you. And that it's going to be like the best outfits there. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's confidence for you. Yeah, I have no doubt that we will be the best dressed team. A hundred percent. Oh, also we got like shoes coming as well. And then I just want, I just kind of doing like the base layers for people because I want everyone to accessorize themselves. Like I want everyone's personality to come through in the outfits. Mm -hmm. So like whatever sunglasses they want, whatever, if they're going to like clip in for their shoes, like, you know, things like that. Uh, should we go? Is this fucking thing over yet or what? Can we go?